Brian Burns, you are a New York football giant. On day one of NFL free agency, Joe Shane pulls off a blockbuster trade that sends Brian Burns from the Carolina Panthers to the New York football giants. And on top of that, they are signing the 25-year-old edge rusher to a five-year deal worth up to potentially $150 million. And then Joe Shane also made another move. He knew that you had to improve the offensive line. I love this. I, I appreciate the signing of Runyon, but I love it now that you've added another player in Jermaine Illuminor, offensive lineman from the Las Vegas Raiders. So you add Runyon today, and you also add Jermaine Illuminor. Illuminor signs a two-year, $14 million deal. We did a video a month on the channel where I told you the Giants were interested in Jermaine Illuminor. He's now put pen to paper, and he's going to be on this football team next year. That's why you subscribe to this channel. Sub for Giants Dubs. If you're looking for the number one place on YouTube to stay in the loop on the latest Giants news, Giants rumors, live game day coverage, and live free agency coverage, subscribe to the channel. I don't know why you're not subscribed if you're not. Sub for Giants Dubs. Let's get into it. The New York Giants started off the day slow. They did not sign Jonah Jackson. They did not sign Robert Hunt. They did not sign Mike and Wayne Yu. They signed Runyon. They signed Singletary. Saquon goes to the Eagles. Xavier McKinney goes to the Packers. But Joe Shane had a trick up his sleeve the whole time. He has a good relationship with the front office decision makers for the Carolina Panthers, and it pays dividends here as he gives up a second and fifth round pick to acquire Brian Burns. Notice! 2024 second and a 2025 fifth. This is the same exact trade package you got for Leonard Williams. And you turn it into Brian Burns, who's better and five years younger. Burns is one of the best players in the NFL, and I don't say that lightly. He is one of the best football players in this league. You look at what he did last year for a team in the Carolina Panthers that just weren't all that good. 50 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, played all 16 games, eight sacks, one forced fumble, two pass breakups. Burns can do it all. He can come after the quarterback. He can set the edge in the run game. But maybe the one of the things that I think I am most in love about Brian Burns is the availability. 16 games in 2023, 16 games in 2022, 17 games in 2021, 15 games in 2020. Listen to these numbers right here for Brian Burns. 40 pressures this year, 68 last year. 51 the year before that, 57 the year before that. All this guy does is put pressure on the quarterback. And with the way the Giants were set up at their edge spot with just Kayvon Thibodeau there, you now have a big three on the defensive line of Dexter Lawrence, in my opinion, the best defensive tackle in football. Brian Burns, one of the best edge rushers at 25 years old. And Kayvon Thibodeau who just had double-digit sacks. Giants are cooking with grease. And with this new defensive coordinator, Shane Bowen, Joe Shane, it will be very important to have edge rushers that can get it after the passer. And he just got one of the best in the business in Brian Burns. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Grade the trade of Brian Burns to the New York Giants. Think about it like this. Positional value. Giants are paying Burns roughly $30 million. Saquon Barkley signed for seven for 13. Xavier McKinney signed for 17. The Giants essentially turned Barkley and McKinney into one of the best players in one of the most important positions. Grade the trade A, B, C to your F. This is an A for me. You pretty much just traded Leonard Williams for Brian Burns. That is a win in my book. We're going to break down Jermaine Illuminor signing with this football team in a second. But first, I need you guys to check out our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. Easy and exciting daily fantasy sports. You pick more, you pick less, you play Prize Picks. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply just choose more or less on their projected stat line. I know the NFL season is over with, but college basketball is heating up, and so is the action in the NBA. Now is the time to play prize picks. Pick more, pick less, play prize picks, win big money, withdraw your winnings, and do it at prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. I'll make sure all that information is clickable 
down in the comments and description of today's show. The most recent move was for Brian Burns, but right before that, Jermaine Illuminor, offensive lineman for the Las Vegas Raiders, is joining the New York Giants. He has a relationship with Carmen Brasillo, who is now the Giants offensive line coach, and he is coming here to try to help improve this offensive line that gave up 85 sacks last year. I personally think that Jermaine Illuminor is a better football player than Runyon. In pro football focus, they agree. You look at the stats and the numbers for Illuminor. Last year, they graded him out at a 68 overall. The year before that, a 75. The last two years for Illuminor were the best two years of his career. But the thing that I love the most about a guy like Jermaine Illuminor is his ability to play multiple positions. He could play guard. He could play tackle. He is going to be a chess piece for the New York Giants. And I also think that this kind of gives you some Evan Neal Security. I think you start the year with Illuminor at your right guard, running at your left guard, John Michael Schmitz at the center, and you probably start Evan Neal at your right tackle. But if Evan Neal struggles, you can bounce Illuminor out to right tackle. He's very comfortable playing there. And you could try Azudu at right guard or Marcus McKeithen at right guard. The number one job in free agency for Joe Shane was to improve the offensive line. And I think he did a good job. I gave the Runyon signing a C+. Plus. I give the Illuminor signing a B. Uh, $7 million of average annual value for Jermaine Illuminor? Um, he's a good football player. Let me see if I can see where he was ranked um, by Pro Football Focus last year as a guard. Actually, he played mainly tackle, so I will actually check that out. But, look, I will say with Illuminor, one thing that he has struggled with um, – is penalties. He sometimes has a likelihood to be flagged a little bit. That's something that he's going to have to work on. La uh, does Pro Football Focus show flags penalties? He was flagged five times last year, which is all right. But in 2022, he was flagged 10 times. So that's something to work on. But also in 2022, 75 overall grade, 75 run block, 76 pass block. He's a good football player, man. And he comes at a position of need in great great value. The Giants are dealing their own second round pick this year's pick, pick 39 overall to the Carolina Panthers. So they're trading pick 39, which means that their second round pick this year will be the one that they got in the Leonard Williams trade. A lot of people, myself included, didn't know what Joe Shane was doing at the start of the day, but it was early. Now you got Runyon, who's a starting guard. Illuminor can start at guard or tackle. And then you add guys like Devin Singletary, who's going to be your running back one this year. You go out and trade for Brian Burns, who was edge one. You re-sign Casey Kreider. You re-sign Gunnar Olszewski. You bring back Carter Coughlin. But this right here, I didn't think the Giants had this big of a splash up their sleeve. But boy, oh boy, was I wrong. And boy, oh boy, am I happy to be wrong. Brian Burns, welcome. You are a New York Giant. You are a New York Giant. Wow. Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau, Brian Burns, Dexter Lawrence, Bobby O'Karake, Deontay Banks. Young, ascending talent on the defensive end. It's going to be interesting to see what they do at pick number six now. We are so up. We are so up right now. Um, give me Philly week one, and that's all I need at this point. Who do you want the Giants to sign next? Give me a player down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Free, informative, entertaining updates every single day on Big Blue. And maybe a couple scoops every once in a while, like we told you, Jermaine Illuminor wants to be a Giant. And he just was. Let's go, Big Blue.